these little buggers, I want you to think about this. They actually produce a biofilm. It's like they get in the bladder, they produce a blanket over top of them. So even there, when if they took an antibiotic, they might kill off some of them, but then because they become antibiotic resistance and that goes over and over and over again. And therefore you need to take something and there are some natural things you can take that will start to break down that biofilm. Thank you. Welcome. Hey doc. Yes. What are the first signs of UTI? There's really a combination. I would say frequent urination, maybe some discomfort during urination, maybe some cloudiness in the urine, you start to see blood kind of a little bit more of the extensive uh, factor that's going on with the UTI. But just understand, um, there can be different symptoms due to the fact that the UTI could start in the kidneys, in the ureters, in the bladder, or the urethra. They're going down from the kidneys. On, and that's why in the urinary tract system, it depends where the infection starts. So therefore, you're going to see more of just frequent ur urination that's going to be more irritable. And they could tell, hey, Maybe we got to get on this early until you start to see blood where it could be a little more extensive um, infection. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Hey, Doc. Yes. Why do I constantly get a UTI? Okay, there's multiple reasons, but I want you to think of this. Eh? Man, bacteria are extremely smart. They really do. They don't want to die. And we have a lot of normal flora. And let's start here. With a UTI, there's a lot of symptomatology that goes on. There can be frequent urination, there can be a feeling of frequent urination, there can be burning, there can be spots of blood, there can be cloudiness going on. And so there are people who go, oh my goodness, I got UTI. And then they might go to the doctor and take an antibiotics and it may clear up and it may not. And they might just keep on getting them over and over again. Well, here's what happens. The most common bacteria known to cause UTIs is E. coli. E. coli is a normal flora, but if it grows, it can be really bad. And that's why you see a lot of people get infections when they are consistently stressed or have a bad lifestyle. But what it does, it produces a biofilm. I want you to think about a biofilm like a blanket. And this usually happens in the bladder. That's why it seems to happen repeatedly because you can get a UTI in the kidney, in the urethra, in the uterus, or the bladder itself. It's different parts of the whole urinary tract. But these little buggers, I want you to think about this. They actually produce a biofilm. It's like they get in the bladder, they produce a blanket over top of them. So even there, when if they took an antibiotic, they might kill off some of them, but then because they become antibiotic resistance and that goes over and over and over again. And therefore you need to take something and there are some natural things you can take that will start to break down that biofilm, but you need to watch the next video. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey doc. Yes. In a previous video, you talked about UTIs and establishing a biofilm or being able to break it down. Could yep. you talk about that more? Yeah. In the last video that I did on this, I talked about reoccurring infections. Why do people get them? Because those little E. coli are pretty smart and they produce like a blanket. It's called a biofilm. And it usually happens in the bladder because the UTI can be uh, affected in the kidneys, the urethra, the ureter, and also the bladder, but they produce a biofilm in the bladder and they kind of hide. It's like a blanket covering them and protecting them. Well, if you take oregano oil, uh, you, there's, a, there's an ingredient in there called carbacol. And what it does, it does a great job of breaking it down. And that's why if you see good oregano oil, it does a wonderful job of having enough of it to, to destroy the biofilm, but also thyme does too, T-H-Y-M-E. Uh, and what it does, those things break it down. Now the bacteria now are susceptible to the immune system, or even if you put in d manos, which is a sugar that doesn't raise your blood sugar, but uh, it adheres to the bacteria and then you can flush them out. That's why sometimes people say cranberry juice does work because there's a specific sugar within cranberry juice that kind of adheres to it and flushes out. But you need to get rid of that biofilm and that's why oregano oil is very effective at that. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Hey doc. Yes. What testing and supplements are good for UTI? Um, first of all, just getting a urine culture done. But then also, if you want to look at long-term stool tests because the most common bacteria that is evident with it is E. coli. And you start seeing that growing up in the stool that's not gonna be good because once again, um, stool, urethra, very close to each other. So therefore there can be some cross-contamination and lead to that. So therefore uh, what I would start to do is if I noticed there was an E. coli increase, uh, oregano oil is really good at having an effect on E. coli. Uh, that's what I see that a lot for more of a natural remedy. Uh, but what it does now, it actually helps to do a wonderful job of, of now being able to introduce and flush the system out and move the E. coli out. But then what you wanna do is this, is if you there's a simple sugar called you know d manos you can take which once again can bind uh to the bacteria and kind of flush it out so therefore increase your water take some d manos have a little bit of oregano oil make sure that your your e coli doesn't get overgrown so some stool tests you in your culture and you should be in good shape okay thank you welcome
Hey doc. Yes. What are some natural ways to help my UTI? Um, prevention. You know that's why I'm a big fan of the sugar demanos, which on skin is does not um, raise your blood sugar, but it, it adheres to the bacteria and then it, quote flushes it out. So remember, always when you have UTIs, make sure to consume a little extra water, uh, trying to really flush it out. And therefore, if you have, add demanos in there, you can usually adhere to it and do that. On the flip side. It's kind of cool. There's also a remedy called Uvi Ursae, which once again, I love that term, adheres to the bacteria and then kind of strips it out, which is kind of neat. Uh, and that's why you'll see that very effective when it does come to it. Those are a little bit more preventative aspects. Uvi Ursae can be used during an uh, UTI, uh, but I'd say number one, if you just flush the system out, use some D-Manos, uh, th those are the best things to prevent it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey everyone, for unedited, full-length, unapologetic content, go to my website, drpatrickflynn.com. Hit the subscribe button to join our community for more amazing content like this every day.